Ah, the melodrama of Warhammer 40K and its tumble into the pit of modern controversies. What a saga. Once merely a battlefield of miniatures and strategic maneuvers, the game now finds itself embroiled in the fiery debates of sexism and shifting lore. Take, for instance, the plight of former Games Workshop employee Nick Davis, who jumped into the fray with a defense of the company's decision to introduce female members into the Adeptus Custodes, an elite military group traditionally depicted as male only. The change has stirred significant controversy, leading to accusations of retconning and pandering to modern sensibilities. Davis took to social media, armed with a cheeky retort to critics, emphasizing the fluidity of Warhammer lore, which he argues is rife with myths legends, and contradictions. His point? That the Warhammer universe has never been about hard facts, but about storytelling. Flexibility that can embrace changes including gender diversity in the ranks of its iconic warriors. Then there's the broader context of the community's reaction, ranging from applause for inclusivity to outrage over altering what many see as fundamental lore. The discussions aren't just confined to the authenticity of lore, but extend into deeper, more contentious debates about the place of social and political issues in gaming narratives. Amidst this storm stands Davis, not just as a former insider, but as a proponent of a broader, more inclusive Warhammer experience. He champions the evolution of the hobby to include female and LGBTQ plus gamers, viewing these changes as a reflection of a progressive community that mirrors real-world diversity and inclusivity. His stance is clear. The Warhammer universe is vast enough to encompass all, and the lore is a living thing, meant to evolve with its audience. Yet this saga is far from over. Each new edition of the game and every alteration to its backstory tests the balance between preserving sacred traditions and embracing inevitable change. As the community divides over these developments, the discussions continue to be as heated and passionate as any Warhammer battle. It's a reminder that, in the world of gaming, just as on the battlefield, every change has its champions and its challengers. But the push for inclusivity isn't just a tale of lore and narrative flexibility. It's also a story of the community's evolving dynamics. Traditionalists and progressives clash not just over characters and plot lines, but over the soul of the hobby itself. These debates often reflect larger societal issues making Warhammer 40K a microcosm of cultural battles being fought across numerous fronts in the real world. In these debates, Davis represents a voice advocating for change, suggesting that the lore's historical male-dominated narratives can and should adapt to include and acknowledge diverse identities. This perspective invites both excitement and skepticism within the community, highlighting a transformative era in gaming where lore and legacy meet modern expectations. So grab your popcorn or your dice because this narrative is still unfolding and every player, new or old, must decide how much change they're willing to endure in the name of progress. The game of Warhammer 40k is evolving not just on the tabletop but in the very essence of its community, promising as much conflict as it does camaraderie. What remains constant, however, is the community's passion for the rich universe they've come to cherish, even as they debate its future direction with fervor equal to the battles they wage on the gaming tables.